Discard her card to destroy her card. She pops the or banish her to the end phase. Means she comes back to a main monster zone, then brings back a lighter dark monster, and I get a dark world effect too. She discards for cost. I knew that. It's a joke. And during your standby phase, basically Phantasma just different criteria. He requires a fee. Fable. They don't care about discarding for cost. Unchained for the five of you that still play it. And don't forget the twins. You're not drawing more than. Almost forgot about hand traps. Ash Boss and Zombie, Effect Veiler and Droll Spellcaster, Perulia, Aqua, Fulos, Wing Beast, Artifact, Lantia, Fairy. Why is he bothering to mention that? I'll get that later. She's not only meant for the twins, but don't be stupid. That's what she's made for. Going first, you prioritize drawing a card with kids to kill. Since Lilla generally won't have a target, but the turn after you use both link twins for her, take her off the field, bring back kids to kill, then Lilla, destroying a card on the field. She comes back during the end phase, then during your standby, she'll draw at least one card for free. Did you know? She can technically activate in response to Nibiru. Why would they wait for her to be summoned? Ain't my business. They still get a token, duh. But would you rather them have one with at least 2,800 attack and defense or one with less than that? She's an 8 out of 10. Would recommend. Is she better than Trouble Sunny though? Don't matter. More cards like this, the better, in my very biased opinion. What do you mean by that? I need my wife in 